some pictures actually to show our viewers of some oh, of your styles. Let's drop some of this on the screen. Okay, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Let me take a look at some of these here. Well, this is you in this about out and about style magazine. So yeah. we already know you're into fashion once you're in this magazine. Yes, definitely. And then I have a few others that I found of you because you know I stalk okay. all my viewers. Tell me about this. I love it. Okay, so what is, I love so this. So this is the front cover uh -huh. of a song called That's It. Mm -hmm. uh, basically, this song has just got released about two weeks ago. Mm -hmm. So a lot of people, you got to go stream it, got to go check it out. Mm -hmm. But basically, I wanted to do something different at the same time, match the pandemic. Right. And then this one here. Sorry, let's talk about this one here. You look very fly. This, you know? this right here, I wanted to let Dubai know that I'm hotter than his heat. Uh huh. So that's why. We're in the desert. Yes. We're in the desert with a beanie and, and, a, and a nice... Uh, I think that was a Fendi coat at the time. I Respect. Don't you know, and the Jordans. I had to stay with it. the Jordans. Yeah. Jordans. Okay. And this, uh, excuse you. Ah, this okay. Is, this is your Z, man. <laughs> I know, Shout, I know. Shouts out to the producer. Shouts out of to your Z. Of course. He's, he's, he's a big reason of why I'm here. But uh, we had a photo shoot with Versace. Mm -hmm. And basically <laughs> the title, I haven't posted this, but basically the title to this would be Like Drake Got 40. Mm. So if you know 40, the reason why Drake has some of his success is because 40, the producer, I feel like Yazid is the same thing with me. Amazing, right. amazing. Yeah. On that note, I think it's time for some what? That's it? Huh? Yeah. You're going to drop on, you know? Yazid. I, it's, it's not for nothing. I didn't have that huh? on the screen. Yazid. <laughs> you had that for a reason, Yazid. Sorry you know? <laughs> Y'all ready? <laughs> Woo! That was awesome, guys. Yeah. This has got to be one of my favorite shows to date. Yeah. Woo! Honey, honey, Hype! I love honey, the energy. We, we need more. <laughs> you you we need bring more. it. You yeah. bring it. I love definitely, it. Definitely. Get more. <laughs> Manel, right? Talk to me. Is that your real name? It's my real name. Oh, it's your real name. It's oh, my real I was name. wondering. I didn't want to real, real it. name. It's my real, real name. It. I love it. I love it. I love it. So thanks for being here. That was amazing. You're performing. I want to know what's it like the day in the life of a rapper. The day in the life of a rapper. Yeah, me. tell me about it. <laughs> one thing, one thing, the number one thing is there is there is no timely work schedule. Mm -hmm. Like it's not a nine to six. Mm -hmm. It might be a nine to nine night. It might be we show up at the studio at eleven o'clock. Um, uh, I feel the the day in the life of, of, of what I do every single day is just always to stay energetic, always keep a good vibe, keep a good energy, and just make sure when you go into the studio, you push everything you got into every single thing, every single thing that you record. Yes. That's, that's the day in the life. I feel like you got to maintain your body. Health and wellness is always a must. Mm -hmm. And... Other than that, just make sure you eat good and be around good people so your music reflects off that. I love it. I love it. Well, I think one day we're going to bring our cameras and I want to come into your studios 100. and I want to bring the whole crew behind the scenes. we got to come into your studios 100%. and do a little behind the scenes, Angie, live 100%. in Dubai with you performing. We're going to put you on an ad lib. Okay. So you're going to put you on an <laughs> that is We're going to put you on an ad lib. So the I'm always late, but I'm worth the wait. Exactly. That. And then what's, what's the other thing you do? The Okay. <laughs> we'll put that in a song. Watch. Yes, we need to put that in a song. Definitely. Done. You know you can download my laugh. There's a ringtone of my laugh. Seriously. Mm -hmm. huh. Just saying. You balling. <laughs> you balling on another level already. We got to catch up with Angie. Though. We have to catch up with Angie, guys. I need to know how do you get ready for a performance? The number one way I get ready for a performance <laughs> is just make sure when I step on stage that you know who I am. Mm -hmm. Even if you don't, the same thing on my very first performance at One Oak, I said, you guys, some of you guys might not know who I am, but you will leave knowing who I am. Yes. So for me, I think the, I think it's all about your vibe. I feel like whatever energy that you put into it, the people mm -hmm. will reciprocate back to you. So me, when I get ready for performance, it's just like, Let's go. Let's go have fun. Let's go do this. Let's get on stage. Mm. Let's, uh, you know, in my performances, you don't know what to expect from me. Mm -hmm. I might jump in the crowd. I might pull you on stage. 
I might go dance with someone. I might climb on top of the bar. This um, Manila mm. is unexpected. You don't know mm. what you're going to get from I me. love it. Even today, you came in and you said, well, I'm, just gonna, I'm not going to perform. I'm not going to do anything. And then we get here and it's like hype. Yeah. I think all my viewers are never going to forget this show. Yeah, they We're not going to forget this show. I won't. The you behind the scenes won't. We you, can't. You can't. It's and, there. It's and embedded so in us. There's so much more. There's so much more. I'm, I'm only gi I'm giving you guys some sneak peeks, but there's so much more. Trust me. Yeah, I love it. I mean, I, I, I can't wait till you drop like a full album. Yeah. What's the plans for that for the so, future? So right now, the number one plan, I think COVID slowed a lot of things down, as me and you were speaking about. Mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. But I think uh, what I'm going to do now is in the next probably like two months, I'm going to drop two to three months. I'm going to drop another single mm -hmm. called Is It Real? Um, mm -hmm. And in between of that, I'll be working on a seven track EP mm -hmm. that I will be releasing. Uh, I want to say before my birthday in November. November so, when? 23rd. Oh, huh. November wow. 13th. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so guys, Angel's in, Angel's in November, baby, with me. Yes. That's why the chemistry's good, y'all. <laughs> exactly, Definitely. exactly. Definitely. I was like, whoa, got excited. Yeah. Amazing. So right yeah. before November, you're going to drop it. I An love EP. it. I love it. That would be awesome. Definitely. Right here in Dubai. I will drop it in Dubai, but I, I think before than that, if, if the travel restrictions change up a little bit yeah. from COVID, I'm going to probably be doing some more shows. But ultimately... We have to see what the situation prevails to us. Amazing. Amazing. Is there any particular rapper that you would like, let's say, to join you that you would like to perform with? Tory Lanez. Really? Tory Lanez. Because Tory, I believe Tory Lanez, uh, I can't say either Tory Lanez is like me or I'm like Tory Lanez. Mm -hmm. But if you ever seen Tory Lanez perform, he'll, he'll, he'll do whatever. Ah. He'll do whatever. And, and that's the one thing I believe uh, sets me out of an upcoming artist because... You don't know what to expect from me. Mm. I, I will skydive in a performance if, if they allow it. Amazing. I'm dead serious. That's I will, sick. I, I will do anything. <laughs> if I could drive a, a, a quad bike on stage, I would do it. So mm. you never know what to expect from me. Mm. I love it. Definitely. Okay, so think of five words. I want you to explain what you do in just five words. In just five words. Yeah. That could be different words. They don't have to match. Just okay. five words. Explain what you do as a rapper. Like you're talking about all this crazy stuff and everything. <laughs> hmm, five words. Interesting. I will always kill it. Oh, there you go. Nice. I will always kill it. Will so you know what you're it. gonna do next? You're gonna make a song. I will always kill it. Always kill it. <laughs> always kill it. There's another song that I have. Uh, I can give you a sneak peek of it now if you want. Yes. It's called, yes. It's called Never. Never. And basically, Never is basically saying that I'll never lose. I'll always win. All right, guys, you see. get ready to rock never on Angie. Bye. You ready? Bye. <laughs> you ready? So I only gave you a snippet of that Woo! one, but that's an unreleased song that we're doing. So that was unreleased. It's unreleased. Dropped here on this show first. But the only reason mm -hmm. why I did that is that is one of the songs that will be on the EP. Amazing. It's yeah. not though. No, that's not the only reason. No. Didn't do it for me for views. You know. I, I did it. For, I did it. For, I did it for everyone that's connecting with me. I love it. No, that was amazing. That was. That, I like. I love the energy in that as well. Yeah. To me, that style changed a bit from your other pieces. Yeah, that definitely. gets. Yeah, it's a little more. Mm. This this one like <laughs> I, I, this is why I said I don't want to be that boxed in guy. Mm. I don't want you to be like oh that sounds like Manel. Right, you know? right, right. Even on the EP, I told Yazid and my producer like I even want to try a Latin song. I was gonna say doing his souls. Yeah. Mm, I, have <laughs> one, I have. I have. One, I like them. Mm. I have. I have one song called Situations. Uh huh. 
It's actually an R&B song. Mm -hmm. It's actually for the ladies. Mm -hmm. And basically the song, it's for the ladies, but the guys, it's also for the guys because it's basically, everyone has experienced a situation when you're in the club, mm -hmm. you see that beautiful girl or you see that good looking guy that you want to go after and you just want that night to be the night. Mm -hmm. But you can't be afraid to take that step to walk to that person. Ooh. So that's basically what situations is. I love it. You know, if you want to hear situations, we can also bang out I situations. I wouldn't mind hearing a little situation. You want to hear situations? I'd love to hear huh? some situation. Z, Guys, situation? Situation, let's huh? do it. <laughs> you want to hear situations? Yes. Let's go, Z. Why he did it? Everything just hit him, right? Sometimes you get caught up. Things affect you. Certain words touch you. Ready, cut, tell! <laughs> you just know just what to wear to make me react. Girl, I swear I'm like different. That nigga hitting your body got me on all these missions. Searching for you like something's missing. Girl, come my way. Uh, say, girl, this is the situation. Queen in the club, it feels like one of those nights. I say, now, girl. I love it. Angie, we're here. That was extra. Angie, we're here. Extra. Angie, we're here. <laughs> I loved it. Angie, you were here. very passionate. Angie. You got deep into this. We're here. I love it. We're here, Angie. I loved it. We are here. Fabulosity. Angie, we are live in Dubai. You right? don't know. We are live. You don't know. You know they don't know. We here. You don't know. <laughs> yeah. Everybody gotta check our post. We here. I love it. I love yeah. it. That was amazing. Definitely. It was amazing. Guys, on that note, it's time to take a short commercial break. I'll be back with more with this mega superstar. He will be one. Check him out. He's here first. Back with more in just a few. Let's go, guys. <laughs>